Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and welcome to the latest review about Sony's HX90. We are testing the low light performance on Frankfurt's Christmas market. If you have time to get there, make sure you have a cup of mullet wine. This camera is equipped with a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor with a resolution of 18.2 megapixels. Unfortunately, the widest aperture is 3.5, so it's not the lens to use in low light conditions. Till ISO 800 the image seems to be clear, but as soon as you increase the ISO up to 1600 and above to ISO 3200 the image quality decreases rapidly. At some stage photos look like if they were taken with a smartphone having disabled the flash, a bit grainy and dirty. But if you think that your iPhone does a better job in low light than the HX90 you might be wrong. The bigger sensor does of course a better job than the sensor built in your smartphone. Here are some more examples using the HX90. Enjoy it, have a look in the description below to download them for private use only. Precision is possible using the built-in bubble level on your display or the electronic viewfinder. If you are interested in a panorama view, no problem. Easy access to that function on the upper quick dial. Make sure it's not too dark, otherwise the result will not be the best one. During daylight conditions, the result seems to be pretty good. During hot and sunny daylight, the sun might disturb you while shooting, having huge reflections on your screen. The built-in 0.2 inch electronic viewfinder helps you to keep your subject in focus without being blinded through the reflections of the sun. If you like to shoot some flowers, a cup of coffee or other small subjects you might be interested in a macro shot. Great! The HX90 has a closest focusing distance of 1.96 inches. Isn't that cute? The built-in flash helps you to light up your dark moments and gives housing to sand grains and other small particles. So be careful carrying the HX90 to the beach. Recording Full HD video is no problem for the HX90. XAVC, SHD, AVCHD and MP4 are the formats to record 1080p footage. You can choose between 25 or 50 frames a second in progressive or interlaced. While we walk through the city we notice that the inbuilt stabilizer does a good job. Take a look by yourself. Yeah. 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 The 3 inch TFT LCD display with a resolution of 921,600 dots seems to be pretty clear reviewing photos and video footage. If you want to make a selfie walking through the Goethe Straße in Frankfurt, no problem for the HX90. Timer of 3 seconds will start automatically after you have turned on the display to your direction. Make sure you download the free Sony app for Android and iOS. Connect your camera with a smartphone without an external Wi Fi network and share your footage directly with your friends and family through Viber, WhatsApp. App, Instagram, Facebook and many more socials. The NPBX1 battery does a pretty good job. Around 360 shots of one hour of video recording are possible while charging it once. You also get a mini HDMI and micro USB to charge the camera. To change the aperture use the dial on your lens. Changing the shutter is just simple as that, using the dial on your thumb. The Sony weighs just 8.6 ounces including battery and SD card. With the dimensions of 3.9 x 2.2 x 1.3 inches, the camera fits into your pocket and feels pretty good in your hand. Want to shoot some sport activities? No problem, as long as the duration does not exceed 1 second. 10 FPS continuous shooting is possible with the HX90. For some reasons, it's not possible to hold the shutter for 2 seconds for 20 photos. I used a pretty fast SD card for this review, but the buffer of the HX90 needs a few seconds for further shots. 35 optical zoom with a focal length of 4.1 to 123mm. How does the 30x optical zoom look like in practice? Keep watching to find it out. Use a tripod to prevent some shaky shots during low light on a long shutter, otherwise your photo will be blurred. Big sorry for the weather, but I couldn't travel to another country for that short review. Let's get to a quick conclusion. Great camera, 18 megapixels are good enough for most of your shots to keep every detail. 35 optical zoom is pretty long. Make sure you use it during daytime on its maximum only. As I said, it's tough to keep the focus during low light conditions. 
The ISO range extends from 80 to 3200. Above ISO 1600 the quality decreases rapidly. I like the panorama function and the battery lasts very long. Don't spend your money for a second battery, use a much cheaper power bank to charge the device while spending some time outside. Hope you enjoyed that short review, thumbs up, subscribe and of course share this video if you liked it. Um, see you next time guys, bye bye. Take a look in the description below to download some of those files shown here in this video for download and private use only.